How's it guys? How you guys doing? So basically someone asked me about IP conflict and why is my computer giving an IP conflict and how do you change it quickly? How do you change your IP quickly? Okay, there's one way to do it where you can put in a static IP address but then your DHCP server might give that IP address to someone else and they'll have the same problem because yours is static. Easiest way to do it in a home environment is to make your your router that's giving out a DHCP um, give it certain computers um, rights to certain addresses so it excludes that. So any new computer that goes onto the network won't get your IP addresses. But if that's not the case and you are not using a static IP address which is easy to check. I'm just going to show you that quickly. To check if you have a static or a, a DHCP IP address, very easy. What you do is you navigate to the little square with the little network cable. Uh, that's your network icon at the bottom to check if you have internet access or not, or network connectivity at least. So you right click on that and you go into Open Network and Sharing Center. Once you're in there, all right once it's open and everything what you want to do is go into change adapter settings okay then you see what adapter settings uh, what adapters you have okay so, like laptops will have another wireless and stuff okay this is not a laptop so it won't have wireless but it has an ethernet port here so what you want to do is right click on that okay it's either ethernet or it's a uh, local area connections mostly local area connections but i changed mine because i felt like it so you right click on it and you go properties, then you navigate down to so Internet Protocol version 4, which is your IP version 4, that's what we use. Okay, it's moving into the IP version 6, but that's not implemented fully yet. Okay, so IP version 4 and then you go properties. If it says it's automatically getting an IP address, that means your DHCP is giving your computer an IP address. Okay, which is fine. Okay, so how you want to reset that is very easy. Okay, there are actually two ways, actually more than two, but I'm going to show you two ways. Basically, what you can do is disable it. Okay, disable the thing and enable it again. Refresh it. Okay, so the DHCP will give it a whole new address. Alright, but there's a better way. Well, I prefer this way. What's happening? Okay, anyway, doesn't matter. I can leave it on here. Okay, so what you, what you do is you basically... Okay, good, it's closed. You basically go into your command prompt again. So if you remember from the last one, you go uh, the Windows button and the R button to get into your run dialog. Okay, and you write in CMD. Alright, if you want to check your IP address, what you want to do is you want to type in ipconfig. Okay, forward slash all, it'll give you all the information about your IP addresses, your DNS, and everything that you need to know, really. Okay, if it gives you an IP address of, so one, once that runs, okay, if it gives you an IP address of one, over there you'll see the IP version is six, but anyway, of one, one six nine dot something dot something dot something, it's not, the DNS is not working properly, most of the time, okay. So to refresh the IP address is fairly, fairly, fairly easy on command prompt. All you do is you type in IP conflict, okay, forward slash release, okay, press enter. Then that releases the IP address. Then the IP address is gone. Your computer doesn't have an IP address at the moment. Then what you want to do is just press the up key and the last, last um, uh, code that you put in goes in and you want to write renew okay so release first then renew it okay see it's configuring an IP address now so it's searching for an IP address from your DNS server okay. sounds hectic but basically your router at home will do it and in office it's usually usually um, a physical server that will do it unless someone didn't set it up like that okay but that's all the administrative 
side of things on networks. Okay, so it might take some time. Never know. Okay. And it carries on, carries on. Obviously my connection is fairly bad. But basically that's what happens. Once it's renewed, okay, it'll either give you an error saying that it cannot renew, or it will renew it, and it will show you your new IP address. Okay, 